Hello! In this video we will talk about how we add a logo or photo to the footer section in Shopify. If you have subscribed to our channel, let's go to our video. We will use two codes in this video. I'm adding these codes to the description section of the video. Do not forget to add square brackets at the beginning of the code as you see the video, as the square brackets cannot be written in the YouTube description section. We are logged into our Shopify panel. This site has Shopify's Dawn theme installed. Dawn theme is free theme from Shopify. Let's take a look at the website. When you go to the bottom of the site, you see a space in the footer section. In this space we will upload our following payment logos. I went back to the Shopify panel for this. I come to the settings in the panel. I scroll down from here and click on files. I clicked on upload files. And from here I choose my logo in PNG format. I clicked open. Our related photo has been uploaded. Now I'm copying our link by clicking the copy link button next to it. Now we will exit here and enter the code file of the theme. I click on the three dots next to the theme. I clicked on edit code. We entered the code file of our theme. We will search for footer from the search section above. We entered the footer.liquid file. I will go down from here and come to the payment section. Or I can call payment directly. I have to press Ctrl F keys to search. We came to lines 320 to 330. Line numbers will be almost like this for you too. I'm pasting the photo link I just copied here first. Then in the description section of this video. I will paste the first code here. Now, instead of the link in the SRC section here, I will paste the link with my logo that I just copied. I delete this first. The link that we will paste between the two apostrophes. I'm deleting the link I pasted above. It should look like this. Pay attention to the text you write in the class section. I will touch on the importance of this in a moment. We are back to our panel. Let's see our site. How does it stand? I'm going down right now. I'm renewing again. Let's renew it again. Sometimes it may be a little late to update this place. I didn't cut them off from this YouTube video as there is a possibility that you may encounter them. As you can see it looks a little big. We need to downsize it. We have to set its width. I went back to the panel for this. I'm logging into my themes code file from the panel. So first I click on the three dots. I click on edit code. I write base.css in the search section. I need to scroll to the bottom of the file. I'm at the bottom of the base.css file right now. I am pasting my second code that I added to the description. Now I will change the width of my logo by setting the width part. I leave the filter part as a comment for now. I'll talk about it here shortly. When I looked at my site again, I saw that my logo was a little small. Therefore, I will set the width to 180. Yeah, it looks a little better now. Maybe we can do 200. After making 200 I save in this. I will leave it like this. It looks pretty good. Now let's come to the filter part. Here I am removing the symbols I just wrote. Now our logo will be colorless. Now let's take a look at our site again. And it was pretty good like this. You can do it however you want. You can delete the filter line completely if you want. Pay attention to the payment Isaco text here.
the definition we write in both files must be the same. You can write whatever definition you want a class, but it must be the same in both files. Now let's have a quick summary. Click on Settings Files. I upload my photos by clicking Upload Files. After uploading, I copy the link from the button on the side. After copying I go to Theme. I click on Edit Code. I open the footer file. I search for payment and come to the relevant line. I am pasting the link of my photo that I just copied next to the payment section. I need to paste it where it says SRC, make sure to double check. Just like this. It should come between two quotation marks like this. This is how I paste it. Do not forget to pay attention to the spelling in the class section. It should be the same in both files. If you have any questions, you can write in the comments of the video. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in our next videos.